Okay, actually take two, all right? Okay. <laughs> take two, because I fucked up the first recording. So yeah, this is uh, going to be the Kalen build. Well, since I already did it once, we can like breeze through it, right? So here's the TLDR, right? We've been winning with his new build. The build is Infinity Edge Crit Cloak into more crit items, right? And then we'll delve into the explanation and example clips where it works, okay? So first is uh, the build, okay? We want to maximize our crit, our crit chance, uh, and we can power through the mid game with as much crit as possible. And we'll get into explanations later. But in order to do that, you need to take boots, so you don't have to spend money on tier two boots. You just sit on these boots unless you have to buy ninja tabbies. We go Infinity Edge, we go Crit Cloak, and then you build whatever the hell you want as long as it's crit. And uh, you can buy boots if you want, right? You will buy Zeal. Rapid Fire is always really good. Phantom Dancer. Uh, we've been experimenting with another Crit Cloak, so two Crit Cloaks after Infinity Edge, but you know, still in testing. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of the idea. Here's the result. Uh, we went 17 and 6 in the last 23 games. We went 21 and 17 on this account and 9 and 5 on this account. So looking pretty good, right? And the kind of uh, the birthplace of this build kind of originates from Caitlyn's awful mid game. Right? Everyone knows that Caitlyn's mid game is not very good, right? If you go, uh, you know, even or winning, and you go one of the two main builds right now, Infinity Edge Essence or Infinity Edge Double Zeal, it feels really bad. You can't do damage, right? You actually can't do damage. If you go IE Essence against tanks, you literally can't do damage, right? So um, that kind of prompted me to ask myself, hey, what's the difference between mid-game Caitlyn and late-game Caitlyn, right? Because we all know that, oh, if you go IE Double Zeal and then you get like another two situational items, you're late-game Caitlyn, you do a lot of damage now, right? What's the what's kind of the difference? And uh, you know, I kind of compared the two, right? If you go IE Essence, right, you got a lot of AD, but kind of inconsistent damage with crits, right? And if you go IE Double Zeal, you just do no damage if you fall behind. You have all this extra attack speed and it doesn't do anything, right? So what actually is the difference between mid and late game Kaylin? And I came up with the idea that it's her crit chance, right? If you didn't know, crit chance increases Kaylin's headshot damage, her trap damage, her net damage. And it gives you a higher chance to do headshot crits, which is where Caitlyn's insane damage comes from, is all headshot crits. 1,000 damage headshot crits, right? But here's the kicker. Even if you don't get the crit on your headshot, whether by a passive headshot, a trap headshot, or a net headshot, it still increases your damage. That's the crazy part, okay? That's why it's so good on Caitlyn, and maybe not on other people, right? Is because this scales with your crit, and your, your headshot is used in all your abilities that make your plays, your trap and your net, right? Q doesn't do shit after the laning phase, essentially, unless you can Q a backline somehow. And ulti is like, yeah, that's like good luck trying to get it to be useful. Sometimes useful, but not always. This is the consistent damage. Net and trap. How do we increase consistent damage? Buy more crit. Therefore, I eat crit cloak into more crit items, right? Um, so I think that if you guys can, uh, if you want to maximize your damage, quickly buy crit items after your infinity edge right? Crit Cloak, Zeo, maybe even another Crit Cloak, right? But we have gotten to 90% crit at 17, 18 minutes, and it's actually insane damage, right? Now, if you don't believe me, let me show you some choice clips. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is uh, actually in the laning phase where Jarvan's coming out to gank us, and in, in this case, we have a Crit Cloak instead of a Zeo and a Dagger, which is what you would have if you're going uh, IE into a Zeo item, right? And as a side note, if you think you have to do situational items instead of getting the crit cloak, go for it, right? You have to go PD, ninja tabbies against double lethality, go for it. But if you take a look at this clip here, is this possible without dagger and brawler's glove? Take a look at how much damage you're doing with crit, right? And notice how we don't really care about the attack speed here. We have zero attack speed here, right? We just headshot crit, that's 420 damage, right? A headshot, that's 265 damage. And another headshot crit, that's 400 damage. And a regular trap headshot does 365 without the crit. And we overkilled him. We actually overkilled him by a lot, right? So that's kind of like the um, big example. And you, okay, of course, people are like, hey, you're like seven kills. You have a really accelerated build. It isn't, you know, it's not a good example. Okay, sure. Let me show you an example where we're two and five. We're Omega behind. And how would I do damage? If you were building zeal item, you would have a zeal. And your Kirchi's shard thingy, right? You're building towards your rapid fire, building towards your um, Phantom Dancer, whatever. But in this case, we have the crit cloak. Extra 20% crit, so our 60%. Uh, 
Um, so shall, let me show you how much damage you do here. Pay attention to where Kaelin's damage comes from. Remember, it's from W, your trap headshots, your net headshots, your regular headshots, and sometimes Q, sometimes OT, right? Not regular auto attacks. So when we're hitting Yasuo here, that's like whatever. He's doing the same amount of damage essentially, right? But watch the damage on Lee Sin and Ezreal, right? How can we get this play to work? Wow. I don't know if you noticed. If we back it up here and count the numbers, we're looking at headshot crit damage on Lee Sin. 440. Look at his health bar. I'm 2 and 5. And I'm missing 40 CS because I have 5 deaths, right? This is what you need in the mid game. When you're behind, how do you come back on Kaylin? You can't with Z double Z item and with Essence Reaver item. You were trying to, trying to build a, trying to finish your Essence Reaver when you're behind is actually FF, right? Because then what do you build after that? Z item? You still don't have enough crit, right? Um, but if you have, you know, you know, just some, some kind of artificial crit, you know, buying crit cloaks, not intending to complete items, you can actually accelerate your mid game build into late game as fast as possible, right? So look at this damage here. 230 damage on Ezreal. Right, with a regular auto attack, right? 300 damage with a headshot crit, you know, <laughs> and then just, just regular auto attacks afterwards, right? But it's kind of, you're looking at the headshot damage. Headshot damage is always increased when you buy crit, even if you don't crit. That's the crazy part, okay? Um, so, yeah, if you want to accelerate past your mid game, whether you're ahead or behind, I advise you to look into crit options. And the best crit option is a crit cloak because it gives you the most, right? Um, and we can just look at any of these, like 80% crit. Look at this. I have a, I, oh, this is a great example. I have Infinity Edge, I have a Crit Cloak, and I have a Phantom Dancer, right? If you were building a second Zeal item, you would have a Zeal instead of your Crit Cloak. So you're missing like 15% crit here, right? So you'd be at 65% crit if, I, if I'm doing the math correctly, right? But instead, we're getting the Crit Cloak and just sitting on the Brawler's Glove, right? So check out the damage here, right? Sure, sure, sure. Oh, easy kill, 300 damage crit, right? Oh, 435 damage crit. And of course, your auto attacks crit, but that's not really where your damage comes from, right? You don't really care about that. You care about the headshot crits, right? And then, you know, you're going to watch the rest of this. I think uh, here I'm like missing some mechanics here, but it's okay. Um, 460 damage crit. Oh my lord, right? Like, look at this. It's, it's disgusting. Okay, sure, I'm fed in this clip. Let's find a different one. Um, how about this one? What is this? Oh. I'm strong in this one too. I guess because this build is so good mid-game, I'm just strong in all these clips. Here we go. Oh, this one. 5-0-4, but uh, I have 45% crit. Oh, you've probably seen this, this clip too if you uh, watch my videos. I eat crit cloak, same thing. You wouldn't think you could, kill, you could solo kill Kai'Sa, but uh, we actually overkill by a lot. Check it out, right? Normal auto attack crit, headshot damage is what? 389 without a crit. That's the important part, without a crit. And you can even go three points in Q into W max. There, and then when you get to like level 9, 11, your W is maxed out and you have like 90% crit, you're actually going to kill someone when they step on a trap, right? So I, I, I would highly encourage you to try and build crit cloaks to um, accelerate your mid game to go into late game as fast as possible. All right, try this build out. This is my secret build I'm running currently. And uh, if you guys have some insane uh, headshot crits you want to show me, definitely send them my way. But as you can see, we are having a lot of success on this build, even when I have a lot of deaths, right? More than usual, okay? Um, I promise you, you'll feel a difference. And uh, definitely try Inspiration Boots so you can skip boots. That way you can spend that 1,100 gold on getting even more crit, right? 1,100 gold is a Brawler's Glove and a Crit Cloak. That's 30% extra crit instead of buying that uh, boots, all right? Accelerate, accelerate, accelerate past the mid game and I promise you're gonna have a good time, right? So yeah, let me know how you guys, uh, let me know how this build is working for you and uh, hopefully we don't get Kaylin nerfed with this shit because if Kaylin's early game, mid game, and late game is good, then of course the champion's broken. So, um, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys next time.